Yo, what's going on guys, Impair here. Welcome back to another video, guys. Now, today we're going to be touring a huge Zerg base that me and my clan have made. And we've kind of stocked up on a vanilla server. This is vanilla, nothing new. You know, it's, it's literally pure vanilla. Um, if I could go here, I can show you. This is where we play right now, currently. Um, it's pretty dead right now. It's 1 a.m. And it's like, you know, like it's one day before, you know, two days before we wipe so not a lot of people are on right now but nonetheless it's still a very fun server there's a lot of bases to raid a lot of pvp a lot of fun does happen on the server now before i turn around and show you guys this base um i just want to give a big thanks to savs a big thanks to verksum a big thanks to wizzy big thanks to frozone big thanks to skelly these guys welcome me in with open arms they help me make videos on here and stuff like that and they're willing they're like they're going to help me make more videos in the future this is my clan this is who i'm going to be building a nice bond with and making videos with for a long time here on rust and we're also open to new good players so we might make a little forums or discord or something where you guys can apply but anyways turn around show you guys this amazing base boom look at this freaking beast of a base there's literally turrets everywhere you could think of we have them hiding everything. This is our huge, beautiful base. Let's go inside now. Actually, let's get a screenshot of this huge Zerg base for our thumbnail. Is there any way to like kind of hide the GUI or something? So now let's go ahead and go into the actual base itself and show you guys what we have going on here. So as soon as you walk in, boom, you're greeted to a turret and you're greeted to another turret and you're greeted to uh, turn, 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 turn. There's turns everywhere, guys, and there's traps everywhere. There's some corn growing on here for food. We do have a little food problem. Um, so okay, we're gonna go over the uh this space first. Act. So in here, I'm pretty sure this is the this is our furnace base. So well, one of our furnace bases right here. Um, we have some uh stuff cooking. I don't think we have anything cooking at the moment. Oh, we do. We have a lot of iron cooking or metal cooking oh my god me my minecraft bases we have ways to go up just not set up just yet like we have it like ready to do that i mean we don't, we're not going to really get around to it anymore since like we're kind of done like for this like for the wipe it's one day no need to anymore um actually let's go ahead and go inside the furnace base so this is kind of like our furnace base slash our dump off slash our uh, new members to the crew that will come in here. We have anything you need. Who is this? This is I'm pretty sure Frozone if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. He's just there But um, you come in here and literally guys we are stacked Look at how much stuff we literally have you can pause it and look at it if you want, but we are literally Stacked it's insane how much stuff we have. I've never been this rich before only when i was streaming with my boys who kind of quit and they all quit the game um i might actually hit them up and uh ask them if they want to we also have some little stashes here and there to kind of protect us from being raided they're literally all over the place i'm pretty sure there's another one over there i don't even know um but then you open this up this little garage door and you come in here okay and we close this door behind us right and you come over here we have over here another garage door i'll go up there in a little bit so we have some more traps and guns here woods things like that whole bunch of guns from raids like literally too much to do with some armor and keep in mind guys this is not the main base this is the furnace base literally i think we have the richest base on the server if i'm not mistaken and when corn grows it makes a noise and it was literally scaring me so much just now Sounded like someone was right here. What the? Okay. Whatever. But once you come up here, um, up there is like your little sniper tower type of dealio. I'll show you guys that real quick. You come up here and we have literally a level 3 workbench. We have another level 3 workbench over there. We have a level 3 workbench in the main base, which is in there. We have one over here. We're literally that rich, guys. Like, we are literally too rich for our own self. So, that's kind of insane. But this is our main, uh, like, like member base. This is our, like, furnace base and stuff like that. It's pretty dope. Um... So we have some turrets there for protection. Over here we have another turret for protection. And it literally kills everybody. It wipes everybody out. We have these literally almost full of arm of ammo. I don't like turning them off because last time we turned them off, 
um, we did get kind of almost like our base almost got raided. So that was not good. So over here is the main base area. And this is the most exciting part of the base. And I cannot wait to show you guys all this. So around, we literally just have a whole bunch of turrets on the rocks and everything to kind of protect the base from all angles. There's literally no way that you can get into this base without dying. Look at this, literally right outside. We have like literally just some armor just sitting there and some bullets and stuff. Um, you come over here we have some more turrets literally all around the base there's some turrets up there somewhere just turns down there it's literally a turret field when it comes to this base so now stay with me here because this is gonna be a little funky going through this building it's really crazy so to get in you literally have to do that jump right there and then you're greeted with a turret right in your face over here we have Vexum. this is the leader of our actual uh, clan he's sleeping as you guys can see so once you get into this this door, you're gonna greet it with a shotgun trap. Open the next door, and you will start actually being in the loot. So we have here a whole bunch of medical supplies and some rockets, and then over here some more stuff. You guys can literally just pause. Yeah, we just went hunting. We, well, we raided a base actually, and we literally found all this in a fridge, and we were so happy because we were getting pretty low on food. And I am getting actually dehydrated, so I'm gonna have to get some water soon. So, um, actually, let's go ahead and go into the main loot area, which is over here. So, you come over here. We have Skelly, which is one of the members of the of the crew, as I guys told you in the beginning. Then you got greeted with another big old turn. Guys, you guys think I'm playing, I'll tell you, these things are literally fully stacked. Like, these are the ones inside. So, just imagine what well, the ones outside are looking like. Um, then over here, of course, you have more ammo and guns and things like that. Now, this is the big boy area. This is... Where all the good stuff is at, right? Look at this, guys. We are literally stacked. We're gonna be doing some more raids tonight before the wipe tomorrow, so I can have some more videos. I'm gonna be going on vacation for my graduation celebration. So look at this, literally, guys. <laughs> guys, there is no way someone should be this rich. Look at this LR. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using this bad boy. Actually, I'm gonna put this bad boy on. Um, but I've been rocking with this because I've been going raiding a lot, and I don't want to die with an LR on me. Even if it's this close to reset, look at this metal frags for days. Literally metal, metal everything, guys. Metal everything. Look at this, like guys. Why? This is vanilla. This is vanilla. This is not modded. This is this is literally vanilla. Okay. So then we're gonna go over here, and I'm pretty sure we have to close this door right there. Yeah, there we go. And then you come up here. This is kind of the most annoying part of everything. Um, let me enter the code all right so this is kind of the most annoying part right here is coming up getting up on this little area there you go okay so once you're up here it's all about just coming up yeah, come on come on we have like these little garage doors as well to kind of like make everyone annoyed but the most annoying parts are these little beds that make it impossible for you to get up so then you're greeted with another turret as you can see so this was made because we literally had too much storage or too much like stuff and we needed somewhere to store everything so then we made this bad boy here literally full of just stuff and we've been giving stuff away to our neighbors for, for the reset we met a we met a friend and he's pretty chill and we just been giving him a whole bunch of stuff and we still have way too much stuff than what to do with like we don't even know what to do with all this stuff so then once you come over here you open this up we have some more beds. This is usually where everybody uh, kind of logs off. Then you come over here, and then this is kind of where the research table is at, and we research things for BPs. And this is where we usually fire our helicopters. We're usually up here either killing people or fighting helicopters so we can get their crates and stuff, and it's kind of how we get rich. This, up, this part up here is really, really cool. I love it. Um, I've killed a couple people up here. It's really fun killing people from up here. People get pissed and talk a lot of crap in chat, but who cares? You know what I mean? So that is kind of the it for the base. You know, like it was, it's been pretty fun playing on here. Um, it's my first, actually, my, if you guys are not going to believe this, I've played Rust for like very long time. And every time I've streamed, I've either played a five times or I've played a modded, some type, some type of mods. You guys know, like I've never played a vanilla until now. And I've had so much fun because once you raid a base, you're like, oh my God, all the hard work, all the stuff I grinded for, 
OC4 just used, it, it's gone to good because this base has so much loot and it takes so much time to grind it. So it is really, really cool to play vanilla for a change. And I love it. One of the most exhilarating highs. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, man. It's, it's just a fun, fun thing to play. If we come outside uh, up here, there we go. If you come out here, you guys can see this is a very huge freaking base, guys. And I cannot wait for the next wipe. It's going to be even more insane. Who the heck left that open? Oh, my God. Next wipe is going to be even more insane. I cannot wait. Oh, Jesus. Who is that? Who is this? Who, is who are you? Five, four, three, two. I don't know who that was, but he had to die. I didn't know who that was. <laughs> he just had to die, guys. I don't know who this was. Who is this? Oh my god, it's literally little Julia. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Zabs. No. Anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff for Zabs here. Rip his soul. Um. Oh, he's trying to. He's trying to shoot me. Uh, uh, leave a like, leave, leave a sub, and comment down below what you guys want to see on some rest. Um, we're going to have some more raids and stuff coming out. Having a lot of fun playing some rest now. Um, Rainbow Six is going to be continued. Do not worry for all my Rainbow Six lovers. Um, it's going to be coming back really soon with the new, uh, the new season coming up. And uh, maybe some more games and stuff as well. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.